G'day, Benny Wellington, dialing in from Yugambe country, the Gold Coast, Australia. I'm absolutely frothing to connect with you on the other side of this screen. And notice that I use the word frothing. So it is surf lingo. Very, I'm very passionate about the word frothing. I'm very passionate about frothers. So if you think about the surf lingo or snowboarders use it as well, essentially it means to be amped. It means to be in sort of this elevated flow state, feeling really good. And you'll notice that some people around us make us feel really, really good. I'd call them frothers. Some people around us make us feel not so good. It's not about getting rid of all those people who make us feel not so good because sometimes if you're a frother or if you're someone who's high energy and high vibe, you're really important to that person because they might not get those interactions regularly. However, I like to think that if you find yourself in that sort of down in the dumps area, and you haven't been surrounding yourself with those energetic people that'll make you feel better, it's not about finding a savior, it's just about having a dialogue, then perhaps it's time you need to set that up into, or you perhaps could set this up as part of a daily practice. This is an invitation. So essentially think about the people in your life, I call them anchors, who you can go to at any time. And it doesn't have to mean that you are in the same room with them or even in the same place or country. We've got these beautiful technologies now that we can hook into great conversations with people all around the world. And I want you to identify them and let them know how important they are to you. This is really important. Because when we tell someone that they're really important, or as I would say, a frother, it's a really nice piece of feedback to get, you know? You really make a difference in my life. You're really important for me when times get wobbly. And if we can have those beautiful kindred relationships and nurture them, then no matter what comes up tomorrow or next week or next year, we've got those anchors in our life that can keep us steady in those wobbly moments. And a lot of the time we just forget to let people know that this is who they are and what they mean to you. And so my challenge to you is to identify a few anchors in your life and let them know and set up a frothy conversation with no agenda, no agenda whatsoever, just a warm drink and you and another person, maybe a couple of other people and just have that yarn, just sit there uh, and try and focus on the good. Even if you've got to talk about the negative topics, like what's the positivity coming out of this? And that's where I'd say you find that glimpse of froth, it can expand because froth lives on the edges, right? That's where froth actually expands from. It's not down in the dirt. That's why I like it. It's right on the edge of that cup, on that delicious coffee bubbling up. And that's what those conversations can be like as well. So find your anchors, find your frothers and have a ripping day.